the main sound bite is no raw oil or raw butters. We're cutting out silicones, things like that. So a lot of the products are botanical. And a lot of people are like, if we ain't using oils and butter, then we'll be using. Well, and that is what today's video is for. been watching my channel you know that I have been doing this 30-day detox with whatever has been in my cabinet and I love the way that I started because that's how most people start I mean I think a lot of people expect content creators or influencers or whatever you want to call us to have everything all together all the time and I really believe that my journey through this it reflects what the everyday person might be doing maybe they don't have like all of these botanical ingredients in their cabinet and maybe they just need to look for those products that don't have oil and butter within the first five ingredients and they have to work with what they have and so that's how i started this process out i am still debating how long i want to do this or if i want to continue i don't know yet but I did buy some things that I think you might be interested in. When it comes to this whole method, shampooing is a very, 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 very important. Clean hair is so important and it's something that you do, you know, this wash routine every five to 10 days, right? There is a clarifying shampoo. There is an all-purpose shampoo, like your everyday shampoo. There are moisturizing shampoos. There are co-washing shampoos, yes. So it goes from clarifying all the way to co-washing as being like least moisturizing, heavy-duty cleansing, all the way to not really cleansing, but very much moisturizing products. When you start off this 30 day detox, you are recommended to start with a clarifying shampoo so that you can get all of the buildup and residue off of your scalp and your strands and sort of start with a clean slate. And the one that I have chose is Kinky Curly Come Clean. They had a shampoo, they have a leave-in conditioner, which I love, and they have the Kinky curly coiling custard or curly custard is what it's called that I've used and that was the very first product I ever bought in my natural hair care journey and I did a coil out on my short TWA so when I saw this on their list of things to get I thought you know what I'm familiar with that I've used this before I actually didn't know that it was considered more of a clarifying shampoo because it actually says natural moisturizing shampoo. You can get this from Target, you can get this online, I can link it from Amazon as well. I'm gonna ignore what it says, moisturizing, and, and say it's clarifying. And from my experience, it definitely gets your hair clean feeling, like that stripped feeling that so many of us don't like, like that's what this is gonna do. And you don't wanna use your clarifying shampoo too often, only when your hair is really, really, really dirty. And for some people that may be like once a quarter. So for my all purpose shampoo, that's kind of like your shampoo that's not gonna be super moisturizing, nor is it gonna be too stripping like the clarifying shampoo. It's kind of in the middle-ish, slightly more on the left but you know, kind of in the middle. And this particular shampoo that I chose was the AG Balance Apple Cider Vinegar Sulfate Free Shampoo. I have a scalp condition called seborrheic dermatitis. I talk about it all the time, most videos. I got this because of the apple cider vinegar. And I love apple cider vinegar because I used to use that as a semi-treatment before I found, you know, things like royal oils and Nizoral to help kind of manage my scalp. And I wanted to see if I could lessen the use of the more treatment-based shampoos by using a product like this. And then when it comes to the moisturizing shampoos, I chose Innersense Pure Harmony Hair Bath, a gentle cleansing shampoo for fine to medium hair. Honestly, I just like that it said a hair bath. <laughs> and I liked the bottle. They actually have this brand all throughout their list. Like I said, I have a blog post and you can see the other things on their list, but you know, I have tried it and you will see in upcoming videos me trying it. Um, and it's pretty good. I think that there are more moisturizing shampoos out there. So this is the Bread Beauty. This is the shampoo that I started everything off with. And so I do feel like this is a little more moisturizing than this. Now for conditioners. I needed a better conditioner than the one that I was using. 
And so I picked up this Innersense Hydrating Cream Conditioner. You're gonna see me use all these products in upcoming videos, but I have used this and it's decent but I think I need something a little bit more. Now I've heard from Jen Jackson <laughs> that the AG Balance um, conditioner is like really good, almost like a deep conditioner. It feels really good on, on the hair. I've also heard her say that Wee Dad was pretty good as well. So I may be switching that out. That may be getting a return because I think I need something a little more, especially to help with my detangling. Stylers, this is my favorite part, you guys. I love the styling. Listen, Uncle Funky's daughter, Curly Magic Curl Stimulator for kinky, curly, and wavy textures. This is my gel, and I used to use a different mousse, but now I've got this mousse, because I had to check it out. The other one was great, but this is where a little bit of the product junkie crept in, and this is the Do Most Def texture foam high definition control mousse and so far comparing the hair rules versus this i think the hair rules actually gives a little bit more slip so i think i actually like the hair rules a little bit better than this as far as the ingredients and it being plant-based or anything like that i mean i don't know about all that hair rule seems pretty darn good to me so let me get it for you yeah this has a lot less ingredients the hair rules has fragrance Oh, so does this. I mean, I don't know. You guys can, can look at the ingredients yourself, but this is the hair rules ones that I was using. So if you guys wanna compare ingredients and all of that, have at it. Um, but these are the products that I'm going to be using, minus the hair rules and, and the bread. Everything else though, this, that's gonna be in my newest video that I have coming up. You'll see me use this. I'll tell you how it feels and all of that stuff. Um, I'm hoping to have better results. This is what my prediction is. My prediction is that I'm not necessarily going to experience like more definition or anything with using the new products, but the process to get here, I'm hoping. I don't know if I can predict. I'm gonna predict, I'm gonna put it out in the universe. I'm going to predict that it will just be an easier process getting here. And hopefully it won't take me a two hours in the shower process to get here. Yeah, that's how long it took me last time, you guys, detangling. Thank God I got an iPad and a good show. And I just wanna say this, they have said time and time again, it's not about the products and that there are other products outside of their recommended list that work. They just stopped recommending the things that they don't use in their salon because they kept getting too many questions basically about, well, why don't you use this? And is it not good enough? And da, 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 da. And they were like, you know what? Let's only recommend what we're actually using in our salons. So that does not mean that there are no other products that are on my blog, in their list, in this video that are not going to work. It's more about the technique and getting to know your hair and what your hair needs and when. I hope I didn't ramble too much, y'all. Check my blog post down below. Support me on Patreon. We do a live every single month. And this month, the live is going to be all about the 30-day detox, my personal experience, any questions you guys may have about my experience through this and what I know so far. I'm very excited. I love the group of people that we have there. We have a lot of fun and they get a lot of information. So if you're part of the Coily crew, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I love you guys. You guys, it's been so cool getting to know you. And if you're interested in the rest of the videos in this series, I'm gonna put a playlist here. And if you're interested in my hair, <laughs> that video is actually coming up. Anyway, I love y'all and I'll see you in a couple days. Mwah.